Dietrich Mateschlitz is Austria's richest person, with a net worth of $20 billion according to Forbes. He is the co-founder of the popular energy drink company Red Bull. Dietrich Mateschlitz currently owns 49% of the company. The company has annual revenue of around $5 billion and it has 12,000 employees. Dietrich Mateschlitz went to Thailand and he was astonished to drink Krating Daing. His long-distance plane hangover was cured and he thought there was something in the drink. Krating Daing was a local energy drink in Thailand that was marketed towards truck drivers and factory workers. Dietrich Mateschlitz made plans to launch the drink in Europe and rebranded it to Red Bull. Ever since Red Bull's launch, there was no turning back. Dietrich Mateschlitz spent the majority of the company's profit on marketing and advertising. Currently, Red Bull owns two Formula One racing teams and spends around $500 million per year on them. Want to know how Dietrich Mateschlitz brought a Thai energy drink to Europe and how he made the drink global? Watch the full video. We at Business Chronicles tell the stories of extraordinarily successful people. Please subscribe to our channel to help us in making more videos. Dietrich Mateschlitz was born on 20th May 1944 in St. Marim in Mürzel, Styria, Germany, which is now part of Austria. His parents were both from Styria and were also Austro-Slovenian family. They split up when he was young and so he was raised by his mother. Both worked as school teachers. Mateschlitz attained a marketing degree in 1972 after studying for a full decade. He graduated from the Hochschule für Welthandel, now known as Vienna University of Economics and Business. Afterward, he picked up his first job with Unilever. He then moved to a German cosmetics company called Blendax that was later acquired by Procter & Gamble. There, he marketed detergents. For work, he traveled to different places. This proved to be fortuitous because while he was traveling for business in Thailand, he stumbled across a product called Krating Daing. Truck drivers and blue-collar workers used it as a pick-me-up, and on that occasion, so did Mateschlitz. It cured his jet lag. He then decided to create his own drink brand, so he approached the owner of the company behind Krating Dang, Chaleo Yudvithya, to form a partnership. They signed a deal where each owned 49% of the company, with the other 2% going to Yudvithya's son. They founded Red Bull GmbH in 1984 and launched the world's first energy drink in 1987, initially in Austria. But it grew to become the most successful and well-known energy drink in the world thanks to their aggressive marketing tactics that made it synonymous with extreme feats. Mateschlitt was a pilot and an extreme sports enthusiast. So, before the age of social media, he aimed to create a cult following for the new drink by sponsoring extreme sports like BMX and cliff diving. Another of his tactics was to seek out popular university students and pay them to hold parties in unusual places. He gave them Red Bull cans and they began tying their empties on the tops of their cars, which caught plenty of attention when they went back to university, and it was soon becoming very popular in nightclubs. In 2019, Red Bull sold 7.5 billion cans around the world, which is enough to caffeinate over 80% of the people on the planet. Along with Heinz Kinnegardner, Mata Schlitz co-founded Wings for Life, a spinal cord research foundation. Its Wings for Life world-run fundraising event has been going since 2014. Red Bull for many years had the slogan, Red Bull gives you wings. In 2014, a guy bought a Red Bull and he was disappointed that no wings were grown. That made him very upset and he sued the company. The lawsuit accused Red Bull of making false and misleading advertising claims. In the end, Red Bull paid $13 million and the lawsuit was settled. Red Bull was forced to pull out of the German market after traces of a cocaine alkaloid were found in the drink, but it was allowed back in after agreeing to use coca leaves as a flavoring agent. Several health emergencies are claimed to have been caused by excessive Red Bull ingestion. A woman reportedly drank 28 cans of the drink each day and lost her eyesight. A 16-year-old girl in Mexico died after drinking large amounts, and Jung Chul Lee, a Korean student at Cape Breton University in Nova Scotia, began brawling in the cafeteria after consuming enough cans each day to cause caffeine intoxication. Mateschlitz himself faced a public backlash in 2017 for his personal views after expressing support in a newspaper article for Donald Trump 
and for also suggesting that Austria should keep refugees out of Austria. Many high-profile guests have refused to appear on his service TV channel because they oppose its allegedly right-wing views. Metischlitz has aligned Red Bull with mainstream and extreme sports that demand physical and mental toughness. The brand was formerly a 60% owner of the Sauber Formula One motor racing team as well as its principal sponsor. This relationship ended at the end of 2001 when Sauber decided that Kimi Rakonen would drive for them that season rather than Enrique Bernoldi, a Red Bull protege. Metischlitz purchased the Jaguar Racing Formula One team from Ford in November 2004, renaming it Red Bull Racing. Along with Gerhard Berger, a close friend and former Formula One driver, he teamed up in September 2005 to buy the minority team of Italy from Paul Stoddart, its Australian owner. The team was renamed Scuderia Toro Rosso, which is Italian for Red Bull. One year later, Matischlitz became the owner of the American soccer team Metro Stars and renamed it New York Red Bulls. He also bought SV Austria Salzburg, founded Red Bull Ghana, a professional team and a training academy that folded in 2014, and set up RB Leipzig in 2009. He bought the German ice hockey club EHC München in 2012 and changed its name to Red Bull München. With Sebastian Vettel, Red Bull Racing was victorious in the Formula One World Constructors' Championship, as well as the Drivers' Championship in 2010. They retained both of these titles in back-to-back -back wins over the following three years, making Red Bull Racing and Vettel world champions an amazing four times. They next won the Formula One World Drivers' Championship during the 2021 season with Max Verstappen but could only manage second place to Mercedes in the Formula One World Constructors' Championship. Between 2006 and 2011, Matuschlitz was also the owner of Team Red Bull, which competed in both the K&N Pro Series East and the NASCAR Spring Cup Series. Matuschlitz bought a racing circuit, the Red Bull Ring, in 2004. Before the purchase, it was known as the A1 Ring, a track that had previously proved itself as the host for the Formula One Austrian Grand Prix. He is a former owner of Zeitenblicke, the top society magazine in Australia, but is known to be something of a recluse, shunning the limelight to the extent that he watches most Formula One races on TV despite owning two teams. Mönchlitz lives in Fuschel am See, Austria, and is in a relationship with Marion Freichner at present. He owns a Fijian resort called La Cala Island, which he bought off the Forbes family for $7 million. He had a deep diving submarine built for his resort guests to use. He has one son, Mark, who was born in 1992 from a two year relationship with an ex ski instructor called Anita. Mönchlitz is a keen pilot. He owns a Piper Super Cub and a Falcon 900. He has a collection of vintage aircraft, including a North American B 25J Mitchell, a Lockheed P 38 Lightning, and the last Douglas DC 6B ever built. Dietrich Mateschlitz is a sponsor of the World Stunt Awards, which raises funds every year for his Taurus Foundation, a charity to assist injured stunt professionals. In 2004, he established the Wings for Life Foundation, which is a research foundation primarily to find a cure for spinal cord injury. In 2012, he donated 70 million euros to Paracelsus Medical Private University. This donation is considered Europe's third largest donation ever made by any private individual. Dietrich Mateschlitz, both parents were teachers. Normally, when your parents are teachers, studying should be easy. But for Dietrich Mateschlitz, it took almost a decade to get a marketing degree. It was a blessing in disguise for him as he spent too much time studying marketing and he became one of the best marketers. Once he found the right product, he knew marketing is the way. He spent 80% of his profits on marketing Red Bull, the most well-known energy drink. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this.